Did you know that there are four brokers starting a prop firm right now? That's right, four, which is IC Funded, backed by IC Markets. You've got Oanda Prop Firm by Oanda, Blueberry and Think Markets. And what's crazy is Blueberry and Think Markets are actually providing the data feed for like MT5 and all of that for pretty much, I'd say 70% of prop firms at one point. But now they're actually opening their own. So in today's video, what I'm talking about is we're gonna go through their website, we're gonna review it. I'm talking about the pros and cons and also talk about what why? that I generally think that the prop firm space is still very very in its infant stage and that it's crazy to see the developments and all the positive things coming from it and how it's a huge opportunity a prime example is right now like this video we're talking about brokers opening a prop firm which is showing that a lot of people are now leaning towards the prop firm space going and trading the prop firm model as opposed to going into the broker space prop firm is the entry level it's the entry model it's a good way for a scaler is a good way to leverage is a good way to earn more for such a small investment whereas with brokerage you can't like on a you know professional level you can't really make a huge amount of sum with only five hundred dollars but you can with prop firms so let's go to the screen recording and talk about the companies what a sick angle in shot this is so before we go into that, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Dan Chung, aka Champ. If you're new to the channel, I've been up to 2.5 million funding. So you can see all the certificates there. Done over 300K in payouts. And I'm actually currently doing a full FTMO journey. So FTMO is the number one prop firm out there. And I'm transparently showing you me buying the challenge, me doing every single trade and doing everything on that journey. So I know a little bit about the prop firm space, which is why now you understand who I am. Let's go to the review. Okay, so let's start off with the first one, which is Think Capital, which is backed by Think Markets. Now, to be honest, their website is pretty clean. Um, there's not really much to kind of say too, too much. It's really actually really simple. Um, you come down to talk about how it works. You trade, you get funded, which is obviously the three set process. So if you didn't know how prop firms work and just to kind of explain to you, you can get an evaluation, which is any size of these evaluations. You buy them for, for example, $499 in this case. You have a phase one profit target, phase two profit target, and then a phase three profit target as well. So this one, it looks like there is, there's a three-step nexus there's a two-step evaluation and then a one step the daily loss limit is three percent four percent and four percent retrospectively on depending on what challenge you go for there's up to 90 percent on them so i don't know if that means oh there we go so it's set at 80 percent, and then it increases to 90 percent over a period of time then the payout is at 14 days so a two-week um, kind of rotation period it's backed by think capital so think markets they allow us customers at the moment they got trading from trading view so I'm, I'm assuming it's the platforms that they have they've got their own think trader as well um, and pretty much that's kind of it from their website overall I don't think like if I had to look at their challenge and kind of review their pricing is pretty much average they've got a lower uh, loss limit so four percent which is still good max loss limit eight percent which is actually exactly the same as uh, as our one at CK Capital so it's pretty good uh, more of a sustainable model 10% uh, except for they have a three-step and a one-step whereas we only have a two-step so and that's really it let's go on to blueberry i like the color theme of white and purple it's quite easy on the eyes uh, reminds me of another firm that actually started off with a white background the same again they've talked about it step one step two step three who they are their challenges and their criteria so we'll do 100k they've got a two-step challenge um, so they've got a 10% loss, 5% loss. So there's a little bit extra there. And then they've got minimum trading days of three, um, but the profit target is 10% uh, and 5%. So that's a little bit more of like the FTMO. They've got a lower leverage as well. And then they've got a static drawdown time. They've got a scaling plan. Um, which is upgraded up to a 90% profit split. And then you can basically get a 25% equity increase over three months. Uh, let's have a look. So they're broker backed, which is obviously by Blueberry Markets. Now, Blueberry were actually really good execution. Um, I would say that Think Markets um, was terrible, really, really terrible execution. So I don't really have too much expectation from them. So I generally think that if you were gonna pick between the two Blueberry from experience, when we were trading, when I think it was like a uh, funded engineer at that time, Blueberry markets were like way better in terms of execution than they were with Think Markets. Think Markets could like literally 
really, really, really uh, spread you out or, or take you out. But the worst one out of all of them was 8CAP. So if 8CAP ever launched one, stay way, 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 way away from them. Um, that's actually why I got slipped a thousand dollars on the TFT one. Um, and you can go and see that video where they slipped me nearly like 30 points or something like that, nearly a thousand dollars. And what was so funny is they sent me an email and in the email, it even shows how silly they were, how stupid and retarded they were. And I told them to reread the email and they were like, do you know what? We're sorry. Here's a funded account. Um, so yeah, it's what it is. Oanda. So Oanda were actually one of the top brokers um, in the, because obviously they're offered to the US as well. Now, if I had to pick, like I see markets are pretty much number one in terms of brokers i actually traded with them for four years first six years i still have an account now i see are pretty much i'd say number one in this side of the world uh, i wouldn't say they are number one in terms of market share but they're definitely up the ranks and a lot of people trade with them they have up to a million in terms of insurance so if you actually have your personal account you can trade with ic but these two, if you had to pick out all, the, all of these four, the top two that I haven't seen the challenges just yet, but I'm just telling you from a POV, from a point of view, that <laughs> these two are, you know, a much bigger broker, but it doesn't mean they're a better prop firm. On top of that as well, I see markets were the ones to actually have C Trader, which is why I'm so used to and accustomed to C Trader, which is why C Trader I'm much more of a fan of. Now, the only problem with C Trader is you can't, well, you can copy trade, but I don't see a huge copy trade in aspect for people like it is for mt5 so that is kind of the only issue that i see with c trader as an overall now let's have a look so you can get a virtual funding that's a really weird number 888 dollars for 1888 for at 88 that's a very chinese or a very asian thing to have they got 100k which is at 699 which is um, a lot more expensive than the average even that ck is like 528 and they've got 10k 25k uh, and then 100k, but it doesn't really clearly show their challenge rules. Where's their? Oh, there we go. So the 8% profit target, 5% uh, day, 5% maximum drawdown, 10. And then they've got a, a larger leverage, which is quite nice. But we haven't looked at the T's and C's. They've got a 2,500 challenge or at a 5,500k challenge. This is probably something I would look into a little bit later, um, but I don't know how good they are on payouts and that's the thing like even if they are broker backed it just means they have money in the bank but are they going to pay you out are they the biggest one that i believe in is customer service like what is that like uh, and overall their trust pilot so let's have a look at their trust pilot well it's actually oh and uh doesn't have it at the moment. Let's put the whole website in. There we go. So they've got zero rating so far. Let's have a look at another one, I guess. Oh, here we go. This one's, it's, I see you've got quite a few. They've got a 4.5 rating out of 32, which is pretty good. So let's have a look at this. Malaysia can't purchase. That's not really a problem. So that one star is slightly invalid. Let's have a look at the three star one. What's going on? Let's have a look at the three star. IC is good, but good spreads, good platform. My only complaint is payment issues. I was not able to make payment. And yet again, that's not really a major problem. I think that, you know, it could be sometimes, you know, just people moaning and that's why it gets a lower star. It's more things we want to look out for, like denied payouts or anything crazy or, you know, multiple people saying that, you know, they were just randomly banned and they're not refunded. That's a big thing as well. I think, you know, if you breach the rules and they still refund you, there are some companies, uh, which is pretty important because even like us at CK, we've refunded a lot of people even though they've breached rules um, but we have like a bit of a one strike rule uh, once you have that make a mistake or whatever it is and we tell you once you can kind of like jog on let's have a look at ic funded then so that's pretty much uh the trust pilot the reviews i mean oanda's a lot more expensive so it now makes me think that is ic going to be the best one out of all of these ones very very clean website very very easy um again i just want to see trader which we're very familiar with so they got phase one. Can I have a look at the phase two? What's the step one? Uh, trying to find the challenge information that they have. Well, that's a really long, it looks like their website needs work. Can't even read all that stuff. Let's just go up to the top. I'm sure they've got something there. Uh, evaluations, nice. 
So here we go. Uh, 10%, 5% is quite nice. Uh, they've got 75 and 25, so then 80 and then 20. On the 100K, it's 499. Um, so yeah, I mean, right now, I think Blueberry is probably the most attractive, but maybe if I see markets, it'll be IC, it'll definitely be IC and Blueberry. So if I had to tier this, I'd go Blueberry, IC, I think, and then Oanda. That's the that's the ranking of how I would do that. And the reason is, it seems like the pricing for this one seems great. The challenges for this one seem quite good as well. Um, and obviously, it's a company that I'd probably want to trade with. All four of them I would, would trade with, to be fair. But it wouldn't be a priority because there are better firms out there. Um, and then the reason I'd go for um, IC after is because um, it's IC markets. Again, they've obviously got a better challenge and a better pricing. Uh, Oanda is the most expensive and the challenge doesn't make the most amount of sense. Then Think Capital, but then their spreads are a little bit horrible. And then Oanda, which is the final one, just because the pricing is really expensive. Uh, but they are really good. So, you know, Think and Oanda have pros and cons. So maybe they sit third and fourth together, but definitely Blueberry first and then IC. Now, if you do want to go and get a challenge out of all of this, CK Capital is a firm that I work with and they actually have currently like 50% or even 40% a discount if you want to go and get that, which means it's pretty much like $369 for a 100K account where you have 8% of 4%. And the number one thing we pride is customer service and also 100% a profit split on your first payout and consistently and also a route to go to the professional route. And we're kind of working on that, so I can't release too much details from that just yet, but that is in the pipeline. And it is a very nice method to kind of go down because the only people who do that at the moment are FTMO. So to have more options is the idea. Now, that's one of the best things about prop firms as an overall is you don't have to just trade with one. It doesn't have to just be one. You can trade with multiple. You can get 100K here, 100K there, 100K everywhere. And it sounds like a song. And you can kind of rotate through your accounts. That's exactly what I did when I got to 2.5 million. The only problem was I was owed over $50,000 in a payouts and over maybe $10,000 more. And then the opportunity cost and the time that I spent on it. And that was because of the firms. They pretty much all just went under all in one go in one sink. Now, just because these are broker backed, um, one of the, the cons I want to talk talk about and we'll start with the cons before I go into the pros is that ultimately it doesn't mean that these are going to be paying you out it doesn't mean that this company is going to be the best it doesn't mean their customer service is going to be the best it just means they have more money in their pockets in order to pay you and also they have their own LP but then even if they have their own liquidity provided they will create live simulated markets so it just as much is exactly the same as slipping you or real markets it doesn't mean they're better in any sort of way now another con I would suggest is they may have you know they've already reached out even to myself i've had a few emails from some of them i won't say which ones and they're very very i wouldn't say ego yeah egotistical is probably the word meaning that they know they're a broker they know that they've got money and they kind of like don't give a fuck about this industry to some degree and it feels a little bit more of a money grab than anything um which is an opportunity great because the product is great and you know trading prop firms is amazing it's the best thing that can come into trading right now you know for 500 dollars you can get a 100k account you make 10 percent. that's 10k so it, it, it's a crazy opportunity however will they pay out we've yet to really see that and that takes time will they really give a shit about us that takes time because personally from an oanda perspective i haven't had the best customer service i see markets 50 50 even as an affiliate back in the day they were pretty crap with the relationship with us and that's the problem and that just goes into like say you guys if you work in a company if you work in an sme a small company they care they put more effort it's more of a family it's more it's just more attention but in a large company they don't really care you're just a number you're just there to work and you clock in and you clock out and they don't care and that's the feeling i get with those four and that's one of the reasons why i won't trade with them yet and i will wait and just let things settle before i even think of even touching them um, for the time being so that's kind of the cons and everything from there now, before I go on to the pros, I just wanted to quickly mention, now, if you are on a funded journey and you do want to learn, I have a full journey hit for free, like this it for free. And you can even download my FTMO statement, my journeys, week one, week two, week, every week webinars for free, everything for free to learn and earn, to know how these challenges work. And I'm going to documentate the whole thing. I'm in week three at the moment, and I'm currently in about 6% profit. And I'm sharing everything um, is linked to my Tradezilla. Uh, if you want to get in your Tradezilla as well, 
control. So the journal here, um, my pays, everything, the whole journey is completely tracked on every single trade, every single um, journal, daily report card, you name it. Twitter is only just showing you the trades, but I have a daily report card. I have like all the Tradezilla information, everything, everything to the detail. And I'm sharing that and I'm giving that all away for free. Now there will be a full video because once I get the payout, that is going to a very special cause for myself. And it's very, very meaningful. And to me, that's very, very meaningful. And that's why I want to tell you guys that trading is amazing. Whether you trade your own capital, someone else's money, a prop firm or whatever, trading is amazing. I don't care what you trade. If you trade, it's amazing. It's freedom. So if you want to get that, don't forget to check out the link in below to sign up for all the free resources that come with it. So before I talk about the pros and then the summary of this, here is a little, if you want to take a screenshot or whatever it is, we, one of our team just made this. So shout out to Hamad. Talk about the pricing linked all here. So you can see Oanda is the most expensive one. So we can go through the summary. Um, 499, 499, so 500 is the rough average price. You've got the profit target of 8%, um, 5%, 5%. It's not 2.5 percent it's actually it's phase two and then five percent and then end of the day balance um you can't basically have more than five percent loss five percent loss a hard breach on five percent loss and then a balance based of four percent with five percent as an add-on you can buy for think markets the max drawdown is trailing which is very very scary because that follows your balance you've got 10 percent static 10 percent static eight percent and then 10 percent as an add-on <laughs> a one to 100 one to 50 personally i think that one to 150 is more than enough and then you've got the profit split 80 80 80 75 the platforms they all provide good platforms because obviously all um, top tier brokers no news trading uh, spreads and then commissions on them as well so you can see straight away again i think blueberry sits quite nicely on here um, and then you've got it goes into think and then sorry goes into ic and then think and oanda probably sit together another big thing here to notice is the commissions on here are very very expensive these really really add up so if you haven't seen there's a video about i think three videos before this uh fx of five charged me another i think seven thousand dollars on commissions which is a lot of money so you got to be careful on commissions because that is just unheard of and they also charged it on an indice so i trade the german 30 and there's no commissions on that but they charge me commissions on that so it is what it is and that's why I don't trade with fx so far but that's the summary of those now if you do want to again obviously ck capital is there and there's 40 percent discount and a 30 percent 50 percent all of those discounts are everywhere depending on when you're watching this video in the future so make sure you go and grab your challenge at ck capital as well and then that brings me to the pros and then the summary of this video now i generally think that this is probably the best time to get into the prop firm space there are so many companies for you to choose from there's no right or wrong answer um you know there's no number one well actually i say that ftm are number one and that's coming from someone who's traded multiple firms I work with a firm as well and ftmo why are they number one they've been around since 2015 then they're always going to be paying out they've got they were number one as in they started first as well and then they've kind of paved the, the way for the prop firm industry so to see these other brokers come into it is good to know that the prop firm model is the idea that brokers are now coming into as well and it's attractive for them prop firms are a great starting point prop firms help you have that leverage prop firms also give you the opportunity to trade with lower capital and it helps with your psychology and the number one thing i say at ck capital as well and i say to everyone is that prop firms give you a guidance and they give you a, basically a set of rules that you must be disciplined to follow with because on your own account you're not going to have a problem if you have a 10 percent drawdown in a day because your account's not breached you still have the capital but in a prop firm account you lose it so therefore these guides these rules are incredibly important because they make a better trader i was profitable before i did the prop firms but then when i went into prop firms i definitely saw myself improve as a trader as well so then now i've got the scalability of prop firms my personal capital and then also investor capital as well so Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a while since I made some prop firm content and let me know, what do you guys think? Do you think that, you know, the IC markets and all of these prop firms coming in is a good thing, a bad thing? Are you going to trade with them? Uh, more importantly, who are you guys trading with? I'd love to know that as well. So if you're going to drop a comment below and if you want to learn or get anything from me as well, we do have our courses down below, which we've launched and then also CK Capital, if you want to go get your discount. Other than that, have a lovely day because look how beautiful that is. Nice.
Peace out, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.